What is up YouTube fam? Okay, so today we are working on a 2012 Kia Forte Coupe. And apparently the coupe is important. I don't know what coupe means, but yeah, I think it's a two-door car. I don't know why they spell it a K. It's dumb. Anyways, right over on that. I've spent way too long ranting on that. Not on camera. Um, today we're replacing the axle. As you probably know, because you're looking at the title, and you probably searched it, and you clicked on this video, and for that I thank you. Now, there's a few things I need to ask before we get into this. One, click the little subscribe button right there, or here, or I don't know where it's at. It's a little red button that says subscribe. I don't really care if you watch any more of my videos, you're probably just looking for this one Kia Forte video, and you probably don't care about anything else I have to post. But... It would really help the channel out if I can get some new subscribers. Um, it's a whole YouTube analytic thing. I, I'm not getting into it on this video. That's not what this video is about. Um, uh, hit the like button. It helps the video out also. Um, other than that, uh, if you disagree with me or hate my video, um, comment down below how much you hate my free video that you're not paying for and that I'm not getting paid to make. Alright, getting right into this. Um, first... Uh, you want to take your uh, lug nuts off before you jack the car up? Obviously. Duh. Um, I used a 1316 socket on that. Um, I used an inch and a quarter socket on the uh, axle nut. Said nut. Um, now this axle shaft uh, took a beating to come out. It's raining and it, my camera's getting all wet. Um, so I, I'm hoping to make this video as short as possible for you guys. Um, I had to beat this thing the entire length of the shaft out. I don't think I've ever had to do that on anything else I've ever replaced an axle in. I mean, I've done... Anyways. So, we're probably going to anesthetize that going back in. Um, but, from what I've seen, other people have had to do the same thing. So, I don't know why Kia has that problem. Anyways. So, we put the nut on the shaft and you beat it until you run out of... Uh, room to beat it that way and then you smack it out the rest of the way um i just use a long screwdriver you can use a punch or whatever else you got laying around bolt whatever long screwdriver all right cool so so far we need a 13 16 socket a breaker bar a inch and a quarter socket um flathead screwdriver um you need to get the detent there's not really a detent left on my nut um but you gotta pry it up uh, if you've ever done an axle, you understand. Alright, uh, moving right along. Those are the two uh, main things. Um, one, you need to get the uh, nut pulled loose before you go taking everything else apart. But after that, um, you need to take everything else apart so you can get the axle out. Um, the only thing we've had to take loose here is this is the knuckle. We're calling it a knuckle. If you have technical terms, I don't care. Leave the hate comments in the description in the comments below. Um, two bolts out of the strut, um, one bolt on the brake line. This helped a lot. It's actually, a whole, I mean, it's only a couple inches, but it's a lot of space here. And then we've got the uh, ABS sensor here. This was a 10 millimeter. That was a 12 millimeter. Um, that's the, okay, um, this had a nut here, which was 19 millimeters, and this side was 17 millimeter. Um, other than that, that's all the tools we've had to use. Like, this is the bucket of tools and bolts we've got right now um, so now the only thing left I have to do to get this axle out is to crawl underneath the car make sure you have jack stands and all proper safety equipment this video is for entertainment purposes only I'm not responsible if you die um, I'm gonna take a large screwdriver or a pry bar and pry the axle out um, if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about you may not want to do this um, let's try to wrap this up in the next 45 seconds so that we can be under five minutes just so that you guys don't have to watch a ton of shit. Um, from what I've seen, no fluid comes out when you pull the axle on this car, but other cars it does, and this has a sealed transmission. So be careful of that. I don't know the end result here on that particular note. Um, so I'm going to have the axle shaft ready to go when I pull pry this one out so I can slide the other one in and hopefully not lose too much fluid. Um, if I missed anything, please let me know. I am sure you guys will. Um, thanks for watching. 
hit that subscribe button, like, and all the other bullshit that I'm supposed to say on a end screen. And what's that other thing I'm supposed to say? Oh, that's a wrap.